Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. I'm sharing this morning the first section of the Gospel reading for tomorrow, which is the third Sunday of Lent, and it's from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 2, verses 13 through 22. And it's, again, I'm reading from the King James Version. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the ox oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture, and the word which Jesus had said, the gospel of the Lord. Well, there we have one of my pet peeves, selling stuff in the church. On occasion, I have, as pastor, participated in this pet peeve. I have worked very hard to convince councils to only take free will offerings instead of charging. Most often that worked, but not always. I was sometimes outvoted. Any of the youth rummage sales we had, though, since I was running them, we did not price anything we took. We took any and all offers of donations. Don't get me wrong, any kind of get-together in churches does, in fact, usually bring people in the community together. And that's a good thing. But the focus should never be on making a profit. The focus should be in bringing people together where there might be an opportunity to share the good news of Jesus with others in both word and deed. And that good news is that the temple of the most important was his body, which was destroyed on the cross, but in three days was risen for you, for all who believe. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to always keep the main thing the main thing, and that is zeal, that is love for the Lord, who gave himself up for us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.